Ice Cream Screen Recorder. Recording games. Let's see what's up with this. In one of my previous videos, I already reviewed this program and bunch of its features, but I did not check the game capture option. That's what I'll be focusing on today specifically and I'll be skipping bunch of other options features that I already have reviewed. If you want to see that video, you can click on the screen and there's also a link in the description or just search it on my channel and you'll be able to find it. So the first thing is the website. So there is this page that says how to record a game on your computer. If you Google Ice Cream Screen Recorder game, this is what pops up first. Game recorder that is easy to use. Let's check it out. It's also free. And here we can see a little screenshot of how it looks like. Since game recording is a complicated technological process, uh, I wouldn't say it's that complicated, but okay. Which is quite resource intensive for the most part, this is true. You need a trustworthy game recorder to rely on. Ice Cream Screen Recorder has a standalone game capture mode to record PC gameplay. And using this program as a game recording software is extremely easy. Let's find out. So down here we have install, tweak the settings, configure some other stuff, use the hotkey trim the video, and that's about it. We have a couple of extra articles, but that's not what we are interested in. So I'm just gonna click download. Obviously, it's the same program like we have seen in the previous videos. Now there's immediately one con, I'm noticing it says 54.1 megabytes on the website, it says 54, bad program. I'm kidding, I'll, I won't be going so much into detail. Okay, accept, next. Install all the codecs, I'll do that next, install, and there we go. Once the program installs, once again, the web page pops up and here's how it looks like. A little promotion, enter your email, don't do that. And you have a couple of likes, support, share, so feel free to do that if you want to. I'll choose launch, ice cream, screen recorder, finish, let's get to it. The program starts up and it asks me a couple of things. Since we'll be recording games, I'm gonna choose specific settings. So I do want to record audio and the microphone and the mouse movements, but I don't want the cursor to be visible. Also, I don't want animated mouse clicks and I don't want to highlight a mouse. I'll use these settings for now. The recorder opens up, here's how it looks like. I'll click game capture and here's what we are taking. Once again, if you guys want to see the rest of the program, a couple of stuff that I had to say about it, do, do watch my video, but for now, game capture. It tells you game capture mode. F6, use this hotkey to start stop in game recording. Next thing we need to do is uh, configure the FPS and I do want to use 60 frames per second. There's an option that says show frames per second, which I'm assuming there's going to be some sort of indicator while recording, telling us how much frames are we recording, but it doesn't tell me exactly if that's gonna be visible in the video. We'll find out. Next I can choose the quality of high, medium and low, I'll obviously choose high. And the codecs are AVI and MP4, we cannot use MP4 so it's locked behind the paywall and every time there's a certain feature you can't use, this kind of pop-up is gonna show up telling you that you need to pay for it. So I guess we are left with AVI which even if I choose that it still pops up. We'll have that, let's click on settings really quickly and see if there's anything we need to take a look at there. So system, pretty much standard, I'm not going to choose anything, change anything. We, we go to save to, this is your output folder. We have video, this is for recording a video, you can choose a format. So let's see if we can choose anything else. Sadly we cannot, we can only choose WebM VP8. And here we can change a couple of settings, there's a countdown. I'm not going to use a, oh, I can't even turn off the countdown. Okay, and the quality. I can't even choose the low quality, I, I can just choose high, I guess. We have also audio, I can choose and set up audio here. It's already set up, so I didn't, don't need to change anything. Yeah, this is perfect, and the hotkeys, and that's about it. I can click save settings, don't forget to do that. So that's pretty much for showcasing the program. One thing I want to show you really quickly is let's compare the free version to the pro version once again. I'll click upgrade to pro and here's where the program actually reveals itself to us. It tells us what are the limitations. So as you can see we have a recording time limit, uh, there's a watermark and the, he, here are the output formats and codecs we can use and what we what all the other features that we obviously do not have. So 
that's what's going on here. You can see the free version and what the paid version gives you. So that's the program, a little showcase, the comparison, the website. Let's do a recording test of a game. Obviously, as I'll be recording my computer, I tend to not have anything running on the computer and I like to use my mobile phone or any kind of camera to, to record my monitor directly. So we'll be stepping back from my desktop and let's record the whole monitor and see how it all looks like. So here I have the program running. I am actually going to open one of my favorite games ever, Resident Evil 4. And I'm just going to go ahead and load up what I was playing earlier and let's try it out. I'm going to press F6 on the keyboard, but as you can see, nothing happens. Trying one more time and yeah, pretty much nothing is happening. I can run through the game just fine without any lag. So clearly the program has not even detected the game. So at this point, I decided to try my mom's favorite game, Solitaire, one of the most simplest games ever. And pressing F6 gives me this. Failed. Start a game in full screen. Press F6. Solitaire. If the game doesn't support full screen mode, use capture video mode instead. So I'll be trying out another game. This game is called Flat Out 2. I decided to just show you some settings that I will be using with this game. And let's go ahead and open it up. As you can see, the game is running in full screen mode because you cannot see any kind of borders around it or whatsoever. So I'm just go ahead and load up the game and press F6. And at this point, I actually get the same error message, which has me questioning. The game is running in full screen mode, but I'm getting this error message to run the windowed record mode for the program. Anyhow, let's try another game called Spider-Man Shattered Dimensions. In this case, you can see that the game does have borders. Pressing F6 does not give me the same error message, which it should. Anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and open up the settings and switch the mode to full screen. And this time we should be good. So the game is in the full screen mode and I'm actually going to load up the game. I mean, uh, we're going to press F6 to record and as you can see, once again, nothing happens. The, the program is not even recognizing the game. I can keep pressing the freaking button, but nothing. So I actually found a solution. Let's try running then recording this game, Minecraft, pressing F6, and whoop, we actually get a notification that recording has started, and there is a FPS countdown or counter in the upper left corner, which indicates that we are, in fact, recording. So that's how the indicator looks like, and that's how you're going to know if you are recording. I just wanted to play the game a little bit and see if there's any lag, and from the this view, you can see that there is no lag whatsoever. So I'm going to press F6 once again. There's a message recording stopped and that's about it. We can go back and we can see that our recording file is there. And freaking finally, we were able to record a game. Let's analyze what happened. First thing I can see is that the video file got named by Ice Capture, then there's probably some dates, formats, then the name of the application and then I guess the format and that's about it. We can click this button to open up a folder where the file has been saved. Double click. Whoa, what's wrong with the audio? So I just previewed my recording. I think you guys were just able to hear that ticking. I don't know why it's, why it's happening, but the video plays just fine. However, there seems to be some issues with the audio. Still, you'll be the judge of that in the sample section. However, I was finally able to record Minecraft. Clicking this button takes me to a little bit of the editor. And as you can see, in fact, we can see the text inside the video. It says recording started. And uh, there's a countdown of the... Uh, f f or there is a FPS... Uh, I guess counter. We can also trim the video here by doing this. Rename it. Uh, we cannot use any of these functionalities because I think they are most of them are locked behind the paywall. We can change the speed and save what we have just edited. I'll click save. It's going to process that really quickly. I hope. And when it's complete, we can again click open folder and here's our video. So that's little 
quick editor, I can click X, go back. We can click here and we have a couple of more options, I think they are self-explanatory. Here's the file size, for a 50 second there's 753 megabytes, here's the resolution. As you can see the recorded resolution is not exactly 1080, it's, what is this, 1072? And finally we can press this button, this only removes the video from the history, it doesn't remove it from the computer. So that was the recording process, just wanted to show you how it all went if I had any issues and what was going on. The first impressions were where, well, the program was not able to record many other games that I tried, Resident Evil 4, Spider-Man Shattered Dimensions, it was only able to record Minecraft and actually recognize it as a game, I suppose. Which doesn't give me a lot of trust to this program if I can't record my games, but that's about it. Luxury features, and does it have any? Well, specifically taking a look at game capturing, not exactly, not, nothing really stands out. Now let's do the export test. I'll take a look at the recorded video, the original one, and I'll import it into video editing software. The goal of this is to take a look at how many audio tracks we have, if there are any issues with the video once it's imported, can you edit the video file, are you gonna run into any kind of issues, how's the playback, all those things. I uh, import it, and I drag and drop it in the timeline. So let's play the video really quickly and see what's happening. So what I'm noticing is that the audio in fact has some type of clicking and we can see that in the waveform, it seems that there's a click every two millis, uh, half, two tenths of a second or something, and it keeps repeating throughout the video. Also for some reason my voice is high pitched and the game audio quality is uh, uh, fairly questionable, however when it comes to the video it looks a little bit washed out, like the colors aren't really vibrant, that's not really that strong. And also, the video plays just fine, the quality is very, very good. Now let's take a look at the cons of the game capture program feature. The first one was pretty obvious, I was not able to record 3 out of 4 games that I have on my computer inside full screen. Yes, I can use the full screen option by just using this feature, capture video full screen, but that beats the purpose of game capture button and the feature itself. So with the game capture I was not able to record most of my games. It simply would not detect them. Uh, there's a countdown, but I did not notice any sort of countdown when I pressed F6, so... Yep. Uh, program is supposed to leave a watermark. Clearly, remove default watermark is not available, so there should be a default watermark. But I don't see it anywhere on the video. Here's a sample video from this video review, and you can see that in the bottom right corner there is ice cream uh, apps uh, type of watermark. But inside this video, clearly there's nothing. Hey, don't get me wrong, that's not a bad thing at all. Just, they're not really consistent with the program. It seems that it has a bunch of holes f that are good for the user, but also, I guess, some are good for the company as well. The audio issues. I'm not sure if you guys will experience them, but I did. I made sure that I pretty much turned off everything on the computer, since I have a bunch of other programs that I use to record, and I reviewed a bunch of programs in the past, this is the first one that has this type of issue, so I have to attribute this issue to the program itself. Resolution, 1072, but my game was clearly running in full screen, and my full screen resolution is 1920 by 1080, so why is the resolution not fully supported, recorded, presented here, what's going on? Now let's take a look at the good size that I ran into. Yeah. Well, I'll give a point to the program when it opens up. It sort of slides into the view. That's pretty much it. Okay, now I would like to show you all the settings that I have used. So, that's about it. All the settings that I will be using in the sample video. So, I just captured a sample video, here it is. Let's take a look at the media info really quickly. Right click, media info, we can see the file size for a 30 second recording and the bitrate. And what I'm noticing is that the bitrate is extremely high. And once again, the width and the height, we can see the frames per second. When it comes to audio, we can see the bitrate of the audio. By the way, this is the same bitrate that I'm using in my videos and that YouTube, I think, is using. So there should not be any difference between the audio quality, but let's find out in the sample section. 
So guys, if you are recording a Minecraft game with uh, ice cream, put in a corner and you can game feature obviously. And I'll be running around a little bit and I'll also talk. I'll also talk a little louder, a little faster, so you can uh, hear me for the most part. And uh, let's see if there's any clicking and how my voice sounds and I'll just show you everything. I'll be able to stop it all this just the beautiful stuff from Minecraft. Final summary and a review of game capture. Um, not much to talk about really, I think the, for the most part everything was present. Sure, the program is easy to use, but it has a bunch of inconveniences. Not really groundbreaking, I want to say for the most part. The biggest issue is that you simply, or I at least, was not able to record bunch of my games using the game capture mode. The settings are, for the free version, I want to say pretty a pretty bland, I want to say. There's nothing really dedicated to the game capture specifically, it's just the overall settings for the whole program, but you have game capture option. You can choose set frames per second, you can actually choose medium and high quality, but you can't choose low. I mean, you can choose it here, but if I go into settings, medium, nope, low, nope. So why am I able to choose it here? Also, codec cannot be changed no matter which one you choose. You cannot use any of these codecs. I mean, it does use AVI, but then once again, if you go here, it says that the video format is WebM. It seems that these settings aren't really for the game capture at all. So, so going by that, these are very, very minimal, extremely minimal settings. Show frames per second does show the frames per second. It also notifies you that the recording has started, but it's, it's going to be recorded inside the video as well. So there's no option to turn that off. Most of the game capture programs have the option to not record that. That, uh, FPS counter overlay whatever it is this one doesn't so this seems to be more of a, yeah we just made a screen recorder let's add a game capture functionality just for the hell of it so we can boast about it nothing really special here in my honest opinion the video looks I uh, want to say a little bit of above the average when it comes to quality but the colors are pretty pretty awful uh, i mean you can adjust it in a video editing software but also you have the issue with the resolution as well you're gonna have a couple of issues here and there since the program is the same as the one that i reviewed it has a bunch of other cons that i already talked about but the game capture has these that i just mentioned <laughs> and it's just funny to me that it's supposed to have a watermark but it doesn't it's supposed to be i guess webm it's not really this this is actually avi if you click on avi it also pops up that you can't use it but it still uses it mp4 also can't be used so whatever you choose if there's an option that's restricted this little window pops up but it seems that for some even if you can use them it still pops up so this program is all across the board funky but my final grades for this program are going to be revealed in the free game recording software spreadsheet that I have available in the description below. You guys can click on the link and check it out. I'm just going to actually give you a snap, really quick look at it. Here's how it looks like. I give a grade, I give a couple of notes, I link to a couple of stuff, I, I add some extra reviews, extra notes if I need to, and that's about it. Do check it out. Thank you so much for tuning into this series. There's another final program that's left for the initial series after this one. And that's going to be the end for the season one, I guess, after I review Met Metal. I said Metal. It should be Metal TV. So let's rename that. Hard Rock Metal Game Capture. <laughs> so far, it's been fun to do these reviews and take a look at the programs, share all the good and bad sides with the world and uh, rate these programs so you guys don't have to waste your time on all of these if they're not good enough but that's about it thank you so much for once again for tuning into another episode it's been a pleasure i'll see you guys when i see you stay awesome priest signing out Should've brought my coat at the end of the line on my shit untold Messed up a lot, used to be waiting for something or someone to give me my spot God only show you the way, it's all up to the plan and the paper and people yeah. you brought I learned what I thought, I hope that they notice and give us a shot I swear I'm a team, been lying a lot my